What's up everyone? Today is an exciting day because I have a box of MVP hockey ready to open and typically these are not exciting boxes but this is the first NHL set that we can possibly pull a Connor Bedard card which if you're into the hockey hobby you'll know is the next generational talent. Everyone's trying to get the guys. The next Crosby, the next Ovechkin, the next McDavid, Matthews, hopefully not Anil Yakupov, but hopefully we can pull one out of this box. Behind, what I have in that background right there is a Nils Hoglander. That is the best card I have ever pulled out of a box of MVP. And honestly, it's nothing special. It's two out of five. It's a cool, low-numbered hit, but it's not really worth anything. It's a cool card. We typically don't get anything amazing out of these boxes, but either way, there's they're, they're entry-level hockey hobby. My son loves them. I get these typically uh, like $50 and under. We'll see what prices kind of go for, seeing as... We're going to have Connor Bedard hopefully taking off and just being an absolute monster for the Blackhawks. If it doesn't happen, though, these are going to be probably like $20 in a year or two. Either way, it's always fun opening up some cards. I've seen only a couple people pull the, uh, the divisional, um, what are they called? The redemption cards. I've seen only a handful of them pulled. They're insanely hard hits. I'm not expecting to get anything out of it, but either way, I'm excited to see what I can get for pretty much a $50 box. Starting off with Jacob Barkstrom, Mark Shifley, Darnell Nurse, Sam Bennett. My son is a Panthers fan, so that's for him. We have, I believe this is the gold variant of the ice wraps, Jordan Stahl and Stormy. I think that the Canes are going to be a dominant team next year. I think they've done a good job, speaking of Canes, getting good talent. They had a really, really, really good uh, uh, offseason in between. I think they're, they're going to be a team to be reckoned with. Jack Hughes, who is another just insanely talented player, I was lucky enough, I always want to show this card off, but I was lucky enough opening up, I think it was not this one, but the newer set of Skybox Metal Universe to pull one of the Emerald Jack Hughes out of 10 autos. I could not believe it. It is still, to this day, one of my favorite cards that I have in my collection. I think he is going to be, again, he's going to be the future face, if not, if not already the face, of the New Jersey Devils. So we got Adam Fox up next, Morgan Riley, Elias Lindholm, Miro Haskin in Ice Battles. Oh, that's a cool one. I actually haven't seen that. Uh, Matty Beneers and possibly the most terrifying mascot, Bowie. We got Pickle Man, Patrice Bergeron, and Krejci. What are the odds of that? The two retired Bruins back to back in that pack. Sad to see Bergeron retire. As a Capitals fan, uh, you know, not the biggest Bruins fan in the world, but Patrice Bergeron, one of the greatest to play the games. So amazing on ice, amazing off ice, ridiculous competitor, one of the best to do it. They are going to be a rough team next year, though. So I hope they'll have a rebound soon because I want to be able to face them and actually be worried about losing and not just hopefully destroy them. Um, we got a Kopanen rookie, a Matt Murray Ice Battles rookie, the other Matt Murray, and, ah, uh, my son will love that, it was the Stars of the Rink, fun hollow pattern on there, Alexander Barkov, good old Sasha, then we got Braden Point, and Matt Duchesne. They're fun cards for the cost. You can find, again, typically like at, uh, on release, it's like $50, $55. This one might stay up there in price for a while just because of Bedard. 
Um, but if he, again, if he doesn't perform, if the redemptions end up going out of date at some point, these boxes will be, what, I think probably down in the 20s. I end up scooping. I think the box that I got the Nils Hoglander in, I ended up paying like $15 for. So the card paid for, for the box, which, again, is, isn't that much. Adrian Kempe. We got Chris Kreider. I'll figure it out. Arnoud Durandu. Rookies for the Islanders. And Owen Beck rookie. It's not terrible. This is an Ice Battles one. And oh, look at that. Another Sam Bennett. So my son's getting all the cards right now. Fun little silver script. Rupe Hints, who I think he'll have a pretty solid career. He's He looked really good last season. And Martin Natchez, Braden Shen. See. Patrick Line. We got Maurit Sider. Max Domi. Yanni Gord. Joel Erickson Eck. Silver script. We got Anze Kopitar. Adam Henrique. And David Perron. If any of you have ripped this, tell me, have you had any luck getting anything crazy? Has it just been a lot of fun, PC hits? Or do you like me and, for the most part, just get this for your kid? Have them, you know, get their own hobby box pretty cheap to open up. Jeff Carter. Another Sam Bennett. He is littering this box right now. Kyle Palmieri. And, okay, so this is the MVP talent of Artemi Panarin. Mr. Breadman, we had, what is it, 129 out of 250. So this is probably going to be the only hit out of the box. But I can't really complain that much. I'll take that. I always like Panarin. Vincent Trocek and Devon Taves. Cam Fowler. Let's get into this one. Mika Zabanajed. Garner McDavid. Tristan Jari. Another Mika Jibana, Zibana Jad. I always butcher it. Ice Battles. And we got, ah, oh, nice. Patrice Bergeron, Stars of the Rank. We got Brady Chucker. Spencer Knight, not a rookie anymore. Hopefully going to play next season. And Claude Giroux. Got Vitek Vanacek, my Capitals. I'm so sad we got rid of him. He was the one that I thought we would keep. Kemper hopefully has a pickup season next season, but I definitely think we dropped the ball on trading Vitek Vanacek away to them. Biddington, we got Kevin Hayes. Swayman, another phenomenal goalie. I want to see him improve next season, especially behind Olmark. They were amazing tandem. Josh Anderson, Ice Battles. And uh, Dylan Larkin, Stars of the Rink. I'm getting all the Stars of the Rink already. You got Goss Despair and Nico Heeshear. Being in South Florida, hockey hasn't been the biggest market down here for the most part. So I'm happy to see the Panthers, going back to Spencer Knight, doing what they should have been doing for years. They've had a great core for the most part, <laughs> the last few years. And I, I'm happy to see we lost in the finals. It is what it is. Amazing battle. Vegas Golden Knights, they took it all the way. They they did a great job. And they just had, they, they proved they had the depth in the team. I'm excited, though. I hope Panthers are going to make another good run. I think they can, especially with Kachuk doing what he's been doing for the team. Love him or hate him, but he has been a a source of inspiration for the South Florida fandom down here. Getty Malkin. We got another talents of Patrick Line. This one is a not numbered one. This one's just the, I think it's bronze. They consider this cool cards. Nothing crazy. Nothing wild. Sebastian Ajo, Milan Lucic back on the Bruins and Thatcher Demko. It's sad. I can't believe Lucic came back to the Bruins and Krejci and Bergeron both retire. Awful timing for him to make his return. Mitch Marner, Clayton Keller, Oshi, Antha Tassiu, another one of the MVP talents of Jonathan Taves, 
Jamie Benn, Drew Doughty, and Jared Spurgeon. On this next one, I'll show you what the Ice Battles cards are. If you've never opened up this product, never seen them, they kind of go over a, it's almost like a TCG. Oh, Askarov, okay, this is one of the rookie Ice Battles. And Jeff Carter, Silver Script. But what they do, the, it, it kind of goes over what their overall rating is. Because he's a rookie, everything is like entry level rookie wise. So I put him at 76. The ice battles for the goalies are different than the skaters. So you have your all your different. <laughs> I think it's funny that they even have passing on here for them. But goes over all the different kind of perspectives to see where they stack up amongst other goaltenders or skaters. Jeff Carter, Silver Script. We got Robin Leonard, Jonathan Huberdo, and Noah Hannafin. Huberdo, I did not think that trade for Kachuk was going to work out as poorly as it did for Huberdo. He came off a monster season and then just did absolutely nothing with Calgary. But I don't think really anyone has done anything for Calgary in a bit. Devin Levi, this is one of the main rookies that I wanted to get out of the set. I think he had a great potential with him, UPL. There's a great, great goaltending up in Buffalo right now. March Assault and Bo Horvet Ice Reps. But you see here instead on the ice battles for the skaters, overall 86. But you see it has speed, skill, awareness, and strength compared to the goalies. Um, I think 86 is a little under what March Assault, maybe next year, maybe next year's MVP set will have a better rating for March Assault because he definitely proved himself in the playoffs. Another bad giveaway for the Panthers, getting rid of March Assault like that. Andrei Svechnikov, Nick Suzuki. Svech, I hope he has a comeback season too. Such a good, good talent, just let go due to injury. So I'm, I'm hopeful he has a good rebound. The Otter, Voracek, Kirby Doc, Colton Pareko. You got a Quinn Hughes and Matt Duchesne, gold stars of the rink. Fun little cards. I know my son will love just, I, I give him all those shiny ones because he kids like shiny. Jonathan Taves. Coming down to the last, halfway done, just under halfway to go. Another March Assault, Tyler Toffoli, Evgeny Kuznetsov, got Arters Silovs, 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 just something like that. Another goalie rookie, Connor McDavo Ice Battle, Roman Yossi with Nash Ice Reps, Joel Erickson Eck, and Kyle Palmieri. Kevin LeBlanc, J. Rob, Jaden Schwartz, Toffoli Ice Battle, and okay, cool. I like these alternate threads. These are fun ones because it goes over their alternate jerseys compared to their aways and their uh, and their regulars. I I've been loving all the alternates that all the all the teams have been doing. Logan Couture, Nikki Backstrom, and Blake Wheeler. Backstrom, too, hopefully has a good comeback season. He only, what, I think it was December when he joined back up with the team. Oh, speaking of capitals, my boy Alex. Um, Backstrom had hip resurfacing surgery. Came back and performed decently. Him and Tom Wilson came back at the same time, which is awesome. If you hate Tom Wilson, I can tell you, you're, you're just... Sad you don't have him on your team. I know he's a heavy hitter. He's one of my favorite players. He's made some stupid hits as well. There's no denying that, but it's good having him back on the team, probable future captain of the Capitals after that seven-year extension. Kyle Palmieri, Silver Script. We got Yanni Gord, Anthony Tosiu, and a Quinn Hughes. All right, what do we have? One, two, three, four packs left. See, nothing crazy out of this. It's just fun opening up some cards, not having to invest too much money in it. Max Jones, Austin Matthews, Tyler Johnson. Ah, this is the one of the alternate threads I really wanted. Vitek Vanacek. We got, was it, Dougie Hamilton and a Jack Hughes. 
Perfect. I love love those jersey retros. Definitely love those alternates. Brock Besser, Jacob Vrana, miss him on the caps, and Josh Norris. Three left. Charlie McAvoy, JT Miller, Jacob Peralta, Pe Pe oh dear lord, Pelletier. I am not good with these rookie names in this class. Brock Besser, and ah, perfect. Not a crazy hit by any means, but it's always good pulling any Ovechkin card for myself. Love it. Love that. That's going in the PC. Steven Stamkos, Alex Tuck, and Ekman Larson. Two left. I'm happy. Got a Caps card. Not looking like we're going to get any of the Connor Bedard cards, but again, OV in my book. I'll take it any day. Cole Caulfield. I'll put that to the side. Uh, Philip Forsberg. Matthew Nice. Oh, good. Another one of the rookies I really wanted. You got uh, Sasha Barkov. Ice Battles. Hold on. Let's see. What, what do they put him at? 92. Okay. That's higher than I thought they were going to give him. That's really good to see. I love that. We got, who is this? Kuch. Nikita Kucherov. Jake Muzzin. And JC74. Last pack. Let's see what we get. We got Sid the Adult, Ryan Johnson, Joe Johansson, not Johnson, Matthew Barzal, Evgeny Kuznetsov, and the last hit is going to be Logan Coter, Gold with Sharky. Let's finish it off with Pedersen, Matthew Joseph, and Phil Kessel. All right, guys. Well, obviously nothing crazy out of that box. Uh, I'm happy to pull my Ovi. I think, what else did we get? Matthew Nyes. We got a Devin Levi, right? Matthew Nyes. Da, 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 da. Devin Levi. What was that? Da, 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 da. And there he is, Artemi Panarin. The only, the only numbered card in this out of, what, 250? 250. Yeah, so nothing crazy. But either way, I'm happy to get what I got. This was a fun break. Um... Probably going to end up getting more boxes of these. I know next on the list, I do have a box of credentials that I'm going to open. So I, I should have that video up in a few days. I, I don't want to put everything up at once just because I don't have that much money to spend on cards and I want to be able to spread them out. So if you tuned in, liked the, liked the break, tell me what card was your favorite. There's nothing crazy on it. Um, if you like the gold, if you like the ice wraps, the alternate threads, uh, if you liked the simplicity of the set, let me know. We'll see when I get a next box, probably going to be within the next couple weeks and open it up. Maybe we'll get that Connor Bedard. Either way, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff that all the YouTubers always tell you to do. And I'll see you next time.